Hi friends, now in this session we will discuss what should be our last 20 days preparation strategy for the FRM part 1's upcoming exam November 2025. I am recording this for the November 2025 but the same video will be applicable for May, August and November 2026 sessions also so you can watch for these sessions also. Now here we will start with the first the preparation strategy, we will see the question solving mindset, revision strategy, mock test and the formula strategy, everything we will discuss here. I'll try to keep the discussion as short as possible because yeah, this time is very crucial for you and you must be focusing on your preparation instead of just watching a lot of videos on what you should do in the last 20 days. This last 20 day video, the same single video is more than enough for deciding your last 20 days strategy. So let's first start with the preparation strategy. If you are, if you fall in this particular category, your preparation is done, let's say 80% to 100%, obviously 100% is the best scenario. But if you are done with 80% syllabus and your 20% syllabus is remaining, don't bother about finishing whole syllabus with full conceptual clarity. If you are good with the 80% area, you have good conceptual clarity. I'm not saying the 100% conceptual clarity in the 80% area, but if you are really good with the 80% area, let's say 90% good in the 80% area, then this should be sufficient. For the remaining 20%, if you have the difficult topics remaining in the 20%, like the time series analysis, multivariate analysis, uh, in the book four, we have the key rate duration chapter, the multi-factor chapter, or maybe the operational risk credit risk type of chapters, then it is fine. These topics are difficult. Just go through it once, whatever you are able to collect, uh, remember it, leave it after that. Okay. Don't bother about this. Then again, as I said, if you are done with the hundred percent area, then amazing, really good. Okay. So the first point is done. The crux is just focus on whatever you have prepared till this particular point. Don't run behind the remaining 20% area and ruin the 80% of your preparation. Then the question solving, I've seen like a lot of students somehow try to gather new questions in last 20 days and maybe they want to improve their grip. This is the worst strategy possible. Don't try to do any extra question solving in last 20 days. If you are my student, because I'm recording this video for my student as well as for the students who are doing the self study. If you are my student, then whatever we discussed in the video classes is more than sufficient. You don't need any extra question or any uh, extra than whatever we discussed. You don't need uh, typically complicated questions. If you are doing the self study, whatever is given in your book, that should be sufficient. Don't try to solve new unique type of questions. Okay, so just stick to whatever you have solved and that's it. In case you are un like if you have the questions pending which are directly given in the book or which we discussed in the videos then definitely make sure you are able to solve those questions you should be you should remember those questions remember the questions as in the steps in those questions the formulas in those questions we have to make sure this okay the approach i by mistake said remember the question not remember the question you remember you should remember the approach remember the formula and the steps okay then the mindset remember this exam is the mindset game. Exam is difficult. On phase, when you sit for the exam, those four hours are going to be the most horrible hours for you. It is better to go with this mindset and knowing that this exam is difficult, not only for you, it is difficult for everyone. Even if I sit for the exam, I will feel this exam as difficult because this is how the exam is structured. So, just to ensure you maintain your temperament whenever you are seeing any difficult question in the exam, just approach as if this is the one question you have to solve and finish it in three minutes. Approximately we'll get this much time and finish it with the full confidence. Once you are done with that question, tick it and move to the next question. Don't bother about will you get the right or wrong, nothing like that. Like you don't have to bother about anything. Broadly speaking, you will get tested on the concepts. Then with this, you, you have to apply the logical reasoning and the aptitude. If you have it, you have it. If you don't have it, you can't build it in 20 days. So rely or make sure you're confident about your logical reasoning and aptitude skills. It is not like you don't need uh, like pure uh, thinkers, logical reasoning and the aptitude. The basic logical reasoning and the aptitude plus the mindset is sufficient for the exam. It 
the exam will feel as i said it will feel difficult but you will be able to crack the answer if you maintain your temperament make sure you maintain your temperament again if you consider the exam structure i will discuss the exam structure in the end let me just note down the part like the exam structure what you should expect in the exam okay so please ensure this particular point instead of discussing any other thing i should be discussing the mindset only most of the students i have seen like the well prepared students failing in the exam this happens only because they become underconfident as soon as they see the exam okay that should not happen with you just go with this uh, in your mind like yeah exam will be difficult for everyone so i have nothing to bother about if it is difficult for you it is difficult for everyone then the revision strategy my recommendation is you should divide the 15 and 5 15 days for the your last like the revision main revision and last 5 days should be allocated for winding up of your revision in last 5 days just focus on the key points where you find problem okay for every student there are some problematic areas so if you ask about me for me generally the uh, if i have to give the example let's say the linear regression assumption these type of points are general because here you have to remember so these type of points are problematic for me in the general preparation so what i used to do i used to mainly focus on these type of points the assumptions the uh, points where you have the duality the right wrong left right type of situation so i used to focus on these points only and that's it okay mainly you have to finish your core preparation in the 15 days frm exam doesn't mainly or purely test the facts it is not the test of your knowledge it is test of your conceptual clarity so the mo- major exam will be based on the conceptual area so focus on that area only okay so 15 days as i said for the main revision here please ensure you revise properly lot of students in order to like when they are revising they revise it as if they are preparing for the first time you should not do this if you know something yeah you know it and move faster in that area if you have some problematic area move slow in that particular area so this is my revision tip for you mock test if you haven't appeared for any mock test immediately appear for one mock test one round immediately make sure you appear for one round of mock test immediately what happens after this as soon as you appear for the mock round automatically your mind will shift and your revision will go according to the exam automatic uh, it it happens automatically so your revision strategy will change without giving you any specific suggestion okay so just one round of mock you will be able to see the questions in that you will understand okay these type of problems are happening with me and then this should be my approach in the revision automatically you will focus on those points which you find problematic in the mock and the similar points also so one round immediately in last like the 5 days before exam 10 days before exam you should not be appearing for any mock in case you uh, perform really poorly in those mocks you will lose your confidence for no reason one more suggestion frms like the proper gap mock are super difficult okay so it is not purely exam representative so it is very much possible like you will score very poor in those mocks doesn't matter so even if you score 50% you are in the good situation don't bother about it just just focus on what type of problem you are facing in those mocks however if you are my student then make sure you solve our portal mock the portal mock are more exam representative compared to the gaps mock as i said gaps mock are really difficult it is approximately 150% difficult compared to the actual exam now the formula strategy if you are among those students who find it difficult to remember or recall the formulas then just go through the formulas once and then finally one day before your exam again recollect all those formulas where you are finding it problematic so let's say if you have the 100 formulas no student uh, faces problem in all 100 formulas it is always 80 20 situation in 80% formulas you will be good in 20% for formulas you will face some problem my suggestion is just try to recall or remember those formulas by giving a limited time let's say you dedicate 3 hour time for the formula one day before your exam and then that's it whatever happens happens doesn't matter your exam is not like your 100 questions won't be based on these 20 formulas right 
so it will be mostly on the 80 and some on the 20 so don't bother about it right fine so again i'll just recollect the uh, what i said in the formula part right now revise all the formulas if you find some formulas problematic take a note of those formulas if possible just note down on the wall and then yeah you all know the these strategies and one day before exam try to recollect these formulas if it is possible for you make sure you remember it if it is again problematic for you leave it like that okay just give three hours time for the recollecting these formulas then the exam strategy again for the exam start with the question number one this starting with the question number one and not jumping here and there is very important some students plan like okay they will only solve the easy question first and then difficult questions later this is bad strategy okay whole exam is uh, mostly difficult it is difficult in saying but remember the result is around 50 percent right and I can guarantee you these 50% are not the brightest student. These students are well prepared, confident students generally. Okay. <clears throat> now start with the question one. Whenever you are solving any question, allocate a time, solve that question, move to the next question. Don't bother about review reviewing that question. Generally, FRM part one's exam is lengthy. You won't have enough time to come back to that particular question. Okay. So don't skip questions unnecessarily. And then solve one question after another and finish your exam at like if you are able to solve 90% questions in the exam, you are in good situation. Okay, so 90 questions is a good mark. I have never seen like the or if I have to like reframe the statement, most of the students are able to finish around 90% exam and they have to randomly take the 10% questions. This is a general situation in the FRM part one exam. Then what to expect? <clears throat> after cbt the exam structure is completely hodgepodge okay but if we assume the frm institute or the gap institute is generous then you should face this type of situation 45 percent numericals 55 percent theory ideally speaking these numericals are approachable if you have the conceptual clarity and if you are able to solve all the questions which we discussed in the videos or the questions which are uh, approachable given in the books and so on okay here in the 55 percent ideally in this 55 uh, let's say around 20 percent and then 35 percent 20 percent sections should be easy the direct question direct theoretical question where you have to just read properly and take the answer okay if you are able to get this much section you are sorted okay for the 35 percent question just do one thing eliminate the two options and find the best possible two and if you have to guess guess based on whatever your gut feels okay whatever is your intuition and you should be you should be able to maintain 70 percent accuracy in this particular area also okay so 70 percent accuracy here for rest like let's say uh, 90 percent here and maybe let's say 80 percent here this type of accuracy is really good even if you are able to maintain only 60 percent accuracy in this section the problematic area this type of problematic area will always be there in the frm exam so even if you face any problem in this area no problem just to ensure you are scoring in this area okay so this should be your last 20 days strategy here just to wind up the discussion please remember don't run behind the new questions save your time for the revision and the preparation this is the most important thing then don't bother about not able to recall the formula right now you will be able to recall it in the exam okay so you will be able to recall most of the formulas in the exam it may happen like in one or the two questions you may face a problem because of the formula but that's fine okay it is 100 marks exam two questions are not going to cost you exam okay but if you only focus on the formulas for the like next 20 days then definitely formulas will cost you exam even if you are able to remember or recollect all 100 formulas in the exam you will miss on a lot of conceptual area okay so we have to ensure you are able to prepare recollect revise 
the area which you already understand properly. This should be a strategy. Okay. And then exam structure we discussed, revision strategy we discussed, mindset. Again, I'll reiterate, be confident in the exam. This exam is difficult exam. I'm not fear mongering you, but just ensuring that you go with this mindset. Some students go with the mindset like, yeah, I'm very well prepared. So exam will be easy for me. And then they fail in the exam because exam is not easy for anyone. It, the exam on its face feels difficult. That's a feel of the exam, right? So you have to go with this mindset. Yeah, exam is difficult, but the result is 50%. So I know the, for most of the students, this exam is difficult, but I am in the 50%. I can be in the 50%. So with this mindset, you have to go. Okay. So that's all from my side in this video. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Also, you can approach me or WhatsApp me on my WhatsApp number. Okay. That's all from my side. Bye-bye. Take care.